Hey guys, happy Wednesday. I'm so excited to be here. I was just watching Chicago Fire anyways. Uh, happy Wednesday, happy hump day to everybody who's out there. Um, welcome back to another video actually. So anyways, I'm Coach Kirk Shenta and um, I teach people, you know, how to build a four to five figure a month business using social media because your social media can actually pay you, right? You want your social media to be a profit source for yourself. And that's what I teach people how to do. So um, as you hop on, say hello, drop a one, drop a comment. Let me know where you're coming from. Today, we're going to talk about how to avoid being scammed online and how to really make money online. All right. So um, if you're watching this, you know, you're in the right place for that. So before I jump into that, if at any point you want to learn about how to actually build the business of uh, earning money on social media, um, get some actual top-notch training to win on social media, my number is rolling across this screen. Get at me. Let's get right into this, my friend, because I feel like I feel like a lot of people need to hear this message. Okay, so I hear it all the time. People say, Coach Shen, um, I really want to start a business. I really want to earn money online, but I've been scammed before, right? So that's that's a fear that people have and people want to know how to avoid doing that. And I'm really going to get into what you really need to know, what you really need to do to avoid being scammed online, okay? So let's get right into it. The first thing that I want to talk about is there is some self-awareness checks that need to happen to avoid being scammed online, okay? So um, if you want to avoid being scammed, it does start with a little bit of self-awareness before you go into an offer or opportunity, et cetera. Okay. So let's get into that. I first want to start off talking about what a scam is and what it's not. Okay. So a lot of people say, um, I've been scammed coaching. And then I say, okay, tell me a little bit more about that. And as they start explaining, I'm like, nope, not a scam. Okay. So let's talk about what a scam is and what a scam is. Now I've seen some scams out there. But some most things when most people tell me not a scam. So first thing is a scam is something that promises something that it can't deliver. OK, for example, a Ponzi scheme, right, where they have no actual product. Right. That's a scam like outright. OK, so there's two types of products that um, you, that are going to be in an the industry. They're going to be their physical products like you have some like it's a physical product you actually have in hand or a digital product. If the opportunity online has no no product at all, not digital, not physical. It's a scam. Second thing is if it doesn't pay out. Now, I've had people join things before and it doesn't pay out. So I always tell people you when you join an opportunity, you want to know that it pays out. Right. Where are the where are the stories of people actually getting income from that system? If your program has never you haven't heard about anybody getting payouts, that's a scam. All right. So I want you to start with that. With understand what a scam is and what it isn't. Second thing is I want to clarify and I want to give a little bit of clarity to what a scam is not. OK, so sometimes when people join things um, and they don't make money, they may say that's a scam. Well, that's not what it is. OK, there's a lot of variable variables and reasons why people may or may not make money online. Um, but that doesn't mean that that opportunity is a scam. It means that something didn't get right. And typically it's, it's because. Um, the person who joined didn't do the work. They either gave up too quick. They didn't understand something, you know, things like that. So that doesn't mean it's a scam, my friend. If you don't make any money, it means that you needed to tweak some things. You needed to stay long enough to actually become profitable. OK, so here's what you need to do. Three things before you join any opportunity. First thing you need to decide for yourself is do you believe in it? Because what I found in my own experience is that. If I join something like I'll give you a really good example. Years ago, I joined a credit repair company and I was like, you know, the idea of it sounded exciting. Like, yeah, let's promote credit repair. But to be honest, I could care less about that shit. Like, I just don't. OK, <laughs> like I don't like I'm, I am fix my own credit, all the other stuff. But educating people on the process of fixing their own credit is not something that gets me excited. I really don't care about that. Right. <laughs> so um, is it something you believe in? And is it something you're actually going to do so that you can get your own result and that you can share it with other people? So if you're not passionate about it, you don't care nothing about it. Stop joining because you see people flash big income results. Do you care about the product service opportunity? Do you believe in it? And are you ready to actually promote it? OK, so that's the first thing. Do you believe in it? OK, number two, before you join anything, you know, I th this one, please listen to me. Whatever you see the person presenting the information doing, 
Are you willing to do what you see them doing? For example, I'll give you a really good example. Years ago, I joined a network marketing company, okay? And they were doing hotel parties, right? And I said, okay, I'm gonna join this and I'm gonna do it my way. But guess what they were they were gonna teach me how to do? Do living room parties, okay? So same thing. You see people on social media, you're gonna go join someone on social media and you want them to teach you some way to sit back and, and get traffic without being on social media. It When you're watching someone present information about an opportunity, if they're on YouTube, if they're on Facebook, if you're not willing to do that, then you need to not be partnering with that program, with that person, because whatever you see them, the top leaders doing, that's what it takes to be successful. OK, so if you're a person who you're like, I want to hide behind, I don't want to be on social media, then sorry, my friend, that's not for you. And that's like a harsh truth. Right. So I'm all about like giving people the real nuggets to help them, you know, demystify this whole making money online thing. Right. So it really takes some basic understanding that whatever you see a, a top leader do and the way they present the information to you, if you look at that person presenting the information, you're not willing to do what you see the top leaders do then that's not what you need to be joining. I hope that makes a sense. Drop a one if that makes any sense. Okay, number three, does the program promise overnight success? Are they telling you, oh my gosh, you can make money, you know, overnight, right? You know, I always say hold out on that one because if it's promising overnight success, you know, what I want people to understand is anything worth having, you're going to have to build, period, anything. My students say, period, poo. <laughs> period, poo. It's going to take time. <laughs> so anyways, it's going to take time, anything worth. Now, there's some ways to accelerate those results. But if it's overnight, it ain't going to be stable. It's like a, a broken house of cards. It's going to crash. So are they promising overnight results? Okay. Next thing is check yourself. This is where you want to check yourself. Are you looking for a money cure or are you looking for looking to build viable, consistent cash flow over time? Are you looking for a money cure, right? You you broke, right? Your money ain't right. You hate your job. So are you then like, okay, 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 I got to get money right now. Or are you like, you know what? What steps can I learn, apply, and do to take this product, learn, apply, make money, and build a consistent business that pays me $100 a day, $200 a day, $300 over time, consistently, right? So you got to check yourself. Are you looking for a money cure or are you looking to build a viable business? Okay. So these are, now we pass the check it phase, right? We, we, we don't check ourselves. Now let's move on. Here's what you can do. Now you've checked yourself. Let's say you actually joined an actual opportunity. All right. Here's the other things that you need to pay attention to, to avoid being scammed. Okay. First thing is to realize um, the unspoken truth. There's a lot of unspoken truths in online marketing, meaning that there's some things that people won't tell you. And I'm going to tell it to you right now. These are the unspoken truths for any business owner, whether you're online or whether you're offline. First thing is this. You're always going to have to do daily activity before you get results, period. So this is why in my social media profits training, I'm, I give people actual blueprint. I'm walking them through the steps of what they need to do consistently online to actually be profitable. So if you understand that, like you own a, you own a hair salon, if you're not marketing your hair salon, you're not going to have people in your chair. Same thing online. Nothing changes when you're online. It's just the mode of your business is different, right? Online versus offline. Daily activity will always come before results. So if you understand that, you will never be scammed because once you get into the program, the opportunity, you understand that to produce the income that they're telling you you can achieve, you have to have daily activity. And hopefully you have a plan for how to do that daily activity. OK, so success is a byproduct of the activity, not the other way around. You're not the opportunity is not your success measure. You're not going to be like, oh, you know, I'm going to make ten thousand dollars. But your activity is not worth, you know, producing ten thousand dollars. Right. So you have your activity will always come before your results. Number two, consistency before momentum. A lot of people are like they look at these top leaders in opportunities and they're envious. And they're like, oh, my God, they have all this success. It's so easy for them. They didn't see the ugly phase. Everybody has an ugly phase in their marketing where they tried things that didn't work. They didn't have confidence in themselves. Nobody saw that. 
right? So everybody has an ugly face in their marketing. But what prevails is that if you are consistent over time, your confidence grows, your marketing gets better, you get more results. You steamroll one result into another, right? That momentum phase comes after consistency. And consistency is a muscle that has to be built and it comes from your daily activity. So if you are doing your daily activity, over time, you'll build that muscle, that discipline and that consistency. And then that's where that momentum comes because you're able to leverage one result into another result, into another result. Before you know it, you have a, a lot of results. You have a lot of incomes, you know, things like that. The next thing is I want people to understand um, what I see some marketers do is, um, and I did this early on and my coach checked me about this real quick. Okay. One result, one result equals a testimonial equals leverage. Okay. If you understand that you will not give up before you can even have your breakthrough in your online marketing journey. So what happens, a lot of people, they get that one result and they say, oh, it only worked one time or I only got one sale or I only they diminish the the result that they got instead of realizing that that one result is literally the beginning of it's the snowflake before you have a snowball right before you have that momentum. You have to learn to leverage your result. Yeah, that one result is a testimonial. And it's leverage for you in your business and it can steamroll into more and more results. So if you if you do that, you will not quit before you get a result. You will not quit and say it's a scam because you're going to appreciate your your result, no matter how big or small it is. And results are not always sales. Results can be I got leads in my business. I'm taking action in my business. I got sales in my business. Right. The sales will come. OK, so please learn to celebrate. I want I want this to be you know, the, the season of you celebrating yourself, learn to celebrate your results, no matter how big or small. And then you will be able to stick around to have your glory season, to have your whatever, learn to stick around and celebrate your results. Pat yourself on the back. We do this thing in class. I'm gonna do it right now. Thumbs up, pat on the back, give yourself a hand clap. That's what I do with my students. Right. So we're going to do that too. Right. Thumbs up, pat on the back, give yourself a hand clap. All right. So we're going to do that. All right. Next, this is critical as well. Find the answer. And this is part of your entrepreneurial journey and really deciding, are you going to move from just a student, someone who wants to make money online and being a true entrepreneur and business person? You, you know, one thing that if you want to avoid being scammed, scammed, right? When you get into opportunity, you have to learn to find the answer. You find the answer. I find the answer, right? Move forward and be adaptable. You know, don't quit and don't sit there and wait for someone to give you the answers in your business. Okay, let me say this again. Do not sit back and wait for nobody, not a coach, not the person who enrolled you in the program, nobody, because you joined and you made a decision that you want to earn money. You joined and you decide that you want to be profitable. If you owned a hair salon, you're not going to sit there, open the doors to your hair salon and say, OK, I'm going to sit here and wait until um, some hair salon down the street who has more experience than me tells me what to do today. No, you're going to figure out what you need to do today to be profitable. The same thing online. All right. So don't rely on any training, any person for your success. If you are not, a bit, you know, if you're just make a decision that you're not a clone. You're going to create your own success. All right. So put on your thinking cap and um, don't wait for someone to tell you what to do. All right. Here's number. Um, the next thing is tech overwhelm. So this is another reason why people quit. And they also say things are a scam. It was too complicated. That's a common thing. And a lot of times it is, you know, I, I, I work with my students on this all the time. I tell them, I'm like, no, we're not doing that. We don't give up. We don't quit. Mm -mm. No, no, not today. <laughs> I say, we get out a piece of paper. We're going to break this down into steps. Let's break this problem down into steps. How can we do this in bite-sized nuggets? It's the same thing in your online business. So when you look at something, it could be setting up your, your system. It could be whatever, right? The marketing of it, whatever. The moment you get overwhelmed, snap yourself out of it like we tell kids to do. Snap yourself out of it and say, uh-uh, I got this. Hold on. Let me get a piece of paper. We're going to do this old school. I'm not going to get caught in tech overwhelm. How can I simplify this? How can I do this? What's the alternate way I can do this? Get creative, my friend. This is your income story that you can change. 
Okay, so stop letting tech overwhelm scare you and cause you to keep quitting on yourself and keep you from getting the results that you need and your opportunity that you just joined. Right. And now you're you're saying, oh, it's a scam. But the truth is you're overwhelmed in the technology of it. And that's OK. We've all been there where we like, oh, my God, baby Jesus. But that's OK. But you still work through it. All right. The next thing is move forward and be adaptable. Things will change. Systems will change. And as an entrepreneur, even online, you have to move forward and be adaptable. Um, you know, failure to me, failure to me is a must. Failure to me is a must. I've learned so many lessons by allowing myself to fail, by understanding that when I fail, that means, shoot, I'm doing some work. Because if I, I, cut, I can't fail if I, I'm not doing something. So failure is a must. You know, you can't learn. Um, if you're not doing the work and also learn to get better at asking the right questions. So what I find a lot of people do is they say, how do I make money online? That's the wrong question. That's the wrong question. If you ask asking that question, wrong question. The right question is, what activities do I need to do to make money online consistently? And then go do the work. Right. All right. So then this is another thing that I want to point out to help you avoid being scammed. I want people to learn to learn the right things to make them help them make money online all right learn the right things to help them make money online what do i mean by that i find that again this kind of goes back to the cure everyone's looking for a cure a cure to solve their little money problems a cure to solve this that other but they're not learning actual strategies so for example someone say um where do i go to get more i need more traffic that's going to solve the problems that I'm having in my business, getting more sales. No, boo. You can have a small audience. And if your message is on point, if you know what you're talking about, if you built a targeted audience, you can close more sales with less people. Right. If you have your marketed message on point. OK, so the thing is, learn the right things. Are you investing in courses and trainings? that aren't gonna help you get the results that you want. Learn the right things, learn the right strategies, ask the right questions, and if you don't know, seek out somebody that can tell you the right questions to ask, right? This is what coaches are for. This is what blueprints are for, right? So that's really important is learn the right things and stop just investing here and there into trainings and things like that, unless it's a total strategy. It's not a one-off method. Traffic is not a it's traffic's not a place you go to and you like, okay, Instagram, that's the cure. Facebook, that's the cure. No, it's a strategy behind it, right? That you could literally go to any platform and you can get build an audience and sell to that audience. All right. Anyways, here's the next thing. Stop avoiding the work. Another way to get avoid getting scammed is to just stop stop avoiding the work. A lot of times when we, and I'm going to say we, because I've been there before, right? We sit there and we're so afraid of the work. We're afraid of the work. We don't want to do the work because it just seems like it's too much. And a lot of times it's also that imposter syndrome where we're like, well, who am I to go out there and, 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 and invite somebody to this thing I'm doing? I don't have results yet. So you feel like a little bit of an imposter, right? But that's where you got to be like, no, 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 no. Just like I said, like we tell the kids, uh-uh, we got to snap out of it. I always say, snap out of it, boo. Mm -mm, not today. <laughs> so we're going to snap out of it and we're going to begin to do the work, right? So do the work. Stop avoiding the work. Stop, stop hiding in comfort zones. Stop hiding in fear. Stop hiding in insecurities. Stop hiding in imperfectionism. That is me all day. I am a perfectionist, right? Stop hiding in perfectionism. Stop hiding in these things that are keeping us in the same place that are not allowing you to change your income story. They're keeping your income story where it is right now. All right. And then the last thing is if you want to avoid being scammed, learn to implement and execute. OK, this is so important. Um, I So many times, you know, people join systems. They never set up their back office. They never went through the training in their back office. They never apply the training that's in the office to their business, but yet they're out there preaching at the top of their lungs that things are scams. No, what's a, what's a scam is your work ethic, your ability to implement and execute. And that's sad, right? We've all been there, but you have to grow out of these seasons, all right? So get out of um, that phase, learn to implement, learn to execute, um, you know, and, and just get started, 
get started. Stop, stop being in perfection. Stop thinking you got to, you know, stop thinking that you have to understand the whole roadmap. Here's the thing. You have to get started. Like, let's say you were in, I'm going to break this down for you. Let's say you were in your back office and your back office had 15 trainings in there. A lot of people will not get started until they went through all 15 trainings. Here's how you start getting success. You open up your, 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 your back office and you say, oh, training number one. Let me go implement that today. You go implement that. You turn around and you do a video and you teach other people what you learn about X, Y, Z in your video. Now you're an expert in your, in your field because now you can teach it to other people. Now you're applying it in your business. So now you're getting results. So you're getting results in your business because you're applying it. You're teaching it. So now you're becoming an expert. You're attracting people to you who, who most likely are the workers because you're teaching other people just like you how to do the work. Okay. So that's how you do that. Then you move on to lesson two. Lesson three, you do the same exact process. By the time you get to, 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 to video 15 in your, in your back office training, you not only have been implementing, so your, your, your uh, results are building because you're applying the methods that are in the trainings. Now, by the time you get to, to video 15, not only do your, are your results amplified, but your confidence in yourself is like, Amazing because along the way you've been teaching and showing other people the roadmap by doing a simple quick video, putting it out there, right? Attracting to you. Other people says, you know what? I like what this girl's doing. I like what she's teaching. I'm ready to learn how to do that too. Let me attract my, let me tie myself to that person because I want to learn how to do that too. And that's really the, the simple roadmap on social media. But a lot of people don't want to do the work, my friends. All right. So what I want you to do is drop below. Let me know what your best takeaways were from today, from what I just shared about avoiding being scammed and how to really get to making money online. Um, you know, reach out to me. My number's on the screen and um, let's connect. If you really want to learn how to profit on social media, you want some training, you want a blueprint and you're like, I'm ready to do this in 2020. Let's talk. And if you really want to earn $250 commissions, I got your back with that, too. All right, I'm hopping off of here and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.